Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I first want to start off by saying that I took a little break from YouTube. The last video I uploaded on the channel was three months ago. I won't talk too much in this video because I have another installation for you guys. But right after the shift up upgrade, I installed the ZZP larger throttle body. I just wanted to share a few clips and my experience with the installation process. And I will also talk about a few pros and cons that I noticed. Overall, the installation process was relatively simple. The only difficult part was removing the plastic tube that attaches to the factory charge pipe because they just did not want to come out. So after installing it, I ran it without a tune and I noticed a couple things. The kit is supposed to give you better throttle response, but to be honest, I didn't really notice that much of a difference. Uh, maybe just a slightly better response at the top end. So another thing I noticed was it made the car sound a lot louder. Now I could really hear the induction noise a lot more. One negative thing that I noticed that it made the car idle weird. I know sometimes when coming to a stop, when I put the car on neutral, when the revs would come back down, it would shoot up for a split second and then go back down. I know ZZP states that you don't have to get a tune for this, but if you want to see a difference, you should totally get a custom tune. Anyways, I don't want to talk too much um, so we can jump right into the installation. But I do want to say that whenever you're installing this, make sure to really tighten the clamps because after I installed mine and I went for a test drive um, under full throttle, uh, the coupler that attaches to the adapter piece that came off and trust me, you don't want that to happen to you guys. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started with the install. All right, so first step is to take off these two sensors, one right here, one right here. I think this one is the mass airflow sensor. So let me go ahead and do that. So I pull this plug right here and then pull it out, pretty easy. Set it aside so it doesn't get in the way. And then I already pulled this one out. This one was a little difficult to pull it. Basically, you have to pull this uh, plastic piece upwards and then wiggle it until it comes off. All right, so next step is to loosen this clamp with a seven millimeter socket. All right, so I got that clamp loosened and now I think I need to stick a screwdriver here and twist it counterclockwise. So after I turned it counterclockwise, it came right out. But now I'm having a little bit of difficulty with the next step. A few moments later. Oh my God, guys, finally, this piece came off. I literally had to break a sweat. So now I'm gonna take this math sensor and then transfer it to the ZZP kit. All right guys, I transferred the sensor to the ZZP kit um, and I already put the clamps on and put this coupler to this metal piece. All right, so this is kind of what it looks like. And now I think the next piece will be to remove the throttle body and all I have to do is remove these four little screws. Um, we can finally do a comparison. This one is the ZZP one, and this one is factory. So yeah, I mean, we'll see if it makes any difference. We are at the final piece of the puzzle. Now all I have to do is just tighten the clamps, put the sensors back on. I'm about to go start the car on and see if there's any check engine light. All right, yeah. As you can see, there is no check engine light. Hey guys, so I hope that install video was helpful. Um, I want to end this video by saying that in the next video, I have a big surprise for you guys and I'm excited to show you what I have. Please stay tuned.